Welcome to uh, Rogers Arena, where we are watching the Vancouver Canucks prepare for Wednesday's game against the Calgary Flames. Of course, everybody's uh, concentrating on the goaltending situation here in Vancouver, but there was some movement up front today and uh, some line juggling. And interesting to see that Zach Cassian, who scored last game and really seemed to get his game together and got involved in a fight with Ben Eager against uh, Edmonton, is up on the first line uh, with the Sedin Twins. And that's certainly a promotion that Alain Vigneault wanted to make. The Canucks have to find out what they got in this guy. Is he a first-line player, a second- or a third-line player? No better time than the present to find out. You've also got Alex Burroughs uh, centering uh, the second line between Mason Raymond and Yannick Hansen. Now, that's an interesting uh, situation there, Burroughs playing in the middle. But I think what they want to do is, is try to have two lines of experienced players to try to have some sort of cohesive attack. You could also say that there's sort of a, a line A, a, a line B, and maybe a line C, or... Jordan Schrader between Mason Raymond and uh, Dale Weiss. Now, what does that mean? If you've got Burroughs with Higgins and Hansen, uh, I think the interesting thing with Jordan Schrader is to put him with a couple of guys who can bang, uh, mostly in Weiss. You've got to be able to use uh, Schrader's speed. And the interesting thing there with Dale Weiss, he can do the stuff in the corners. And if Schrader can be the playmaking guy that he was in the American Hockey League, maybe he can get those pucks to Mason Raymond which leads uh, Maxime Lapierre in the middle of your fourth line between uh, Manny Malhotra and uh, Aaron Volpatti for the Flames game, which would probably put Andrew Abbott uh, up in the press box. Uh, what I'm concentrating on here down at the rink today is, you know, there hasn't been much that's gone right through two games, but I certainly think the pairing of Jason Garrison and Alex Adler is something that the Canucks can build on. Adler's got the two goals already to lead the Canucks in goal scoring, but more importantly, I think Garrison has provided Edler with that stability, giving Edler the green light to jump up into the rush that uh, Garrison is a pretty physical guy who can take care of his own end, and it's giving the Canucks another dimension in five-on-five -five play, and of course they play the power play together. We'll see how it all unfolds. Uh, game three tomorrow night against uh, Calgary. You hate to say it's a, a must-win situation already, but they've got to get a win under their belt before they go on a three-game road trip. Thank you.